The fast-moving three-alarm fire struck in the middle of the night in Edgewood, and it also seriously injured three other people. Mike Shue was there this morning before dawn. This afternoon, I talked to one of the survivors this morning, and she can't believe that three of her friends are now dead. I thank God we got out. That's Bobby Hodges, seen here holding her dog Boo Boo, being escorted by the Red Cross. She is one of three people who got out uninjured. The smoke detector, I heard it, and the people that live in the basement with me woke me up, screaming. Her friends, a man and two women who lived on the third floor, didn't make it, dying before they could escape down the steps. Two others who lived on that floor did make it out, but barely. One individual did jump from a window in order to escape the fire and suffered uh, broken bones uh, to their legs. Another individual was burned over 70% of their body and obviously is in very critical condition. I heard him screaming. Ooh. Nine people total lived in the house. Here's a reason why, according to Bobby, that there were nine people living in this home. It's a boarding house for disability people. She says physically her friends could have gotten out, but thinks that the smoke and flames prevented them. Right now, the state fire marshal's office and ATF are conducting the investigation into what might have started this fire. The survivor tells me that all nine people who live here, they all were smokers. I'm Mike Shue reporting from Edgewood for WJZ.